Hey everybody, it's Eric wearing red again because it is Friday. I love Fridays, number one. I got the weekend coming up, number two. I get to talk to all you guys, our amazing veterans and family members and supporters of the military. Last Friday, I discussed in a video the pros and cons of prepaying your mortgage, right? Paying it off faster. Today, I wanna to go over the five, okay? I love these lists. Five most common strategies, okay? There might be more, but here at Lovia Rates, our team came up with what we think are the five most common strategies to paying off your loan early. I'm gonna put paying off loan, I'm gonna say faster, which also means early, okay? Here's the five most common strategies. Number one, super simple, pay $100 extra every single month, okay? You may say, well, Eric, that's pretty simple. Well, yeah, it's a common strategy. That's an extra $1,200 or $1,300 a year, depending on how often you do it. Does that confuse you? I'm gonna do a video on that later. Extra money, $100 a month. Who doesn't have an extra $100 every single month laying around that they're wasting on coffee or Big Macs or something? This is the easiest strategy to deploy in your family. Now, the biggest downside to this strategy is you're not gonna save as much interest as you will with these other strategies that I'm gonna get into. So what's the second? most common strategy. Well, make a 15 year payment. Notice I didn't say get a 15 year loan. Make a 15 year payment. Now, how do you know what a 15 year payment is? Well, we love talking to you. So call us up, give us your loan information. We'll tell you what you should be sending in to have a 15 year payment. You can also go to a, you can go to Google and a bunch of other websites and just type in mortgage calculator, type in your information, put 15 years or 180 months where it talks about the term. Okay, here's a little buzzword here, the term of your loan, and it's going to tell you what you should pay to make a 15 year loan payment. Now, after your loan closes on a 30 year, which is what we suggest here, you can still send in that 15 year payment every single month. This strategy may be one of the hardest to keep up with in the long term, simply because it's quite a big increase between a 30 year payment and a 15 year payment. And if you're like me, you look at that statement every single month and it says you owe a thousand bucks, but your 15 year payment is 1800, man, it's hard to take that additional 800 bucks and put it into your loan. But if you can keep up with it consistently, imagine paying your 30 year loan off in half as much time. Massive amounts of interest savings on that one. Okay, third strategy, lump sum. Okay, at the end of the year, you're doing your taxes, you're sitting down with uh, your tax software or your CPA or whoever, and you say, man, we saved a lot more money this year than we needed. We've got about $5,000 in excess cash over and beyond what we feel we need to have in the bank. All of our other investments and our expenses are under control. We're gonna make a one lump sum payment in December for five grand. That strategy can be difficult to plan for and that's why I like to say, do it at the end of the year. Now, if you know you wanna do this at the end of the year, you can start funnel away a little bit extra money every single month so that rainy day fund that I keep referring to has extra money in it at the end of the year. Now, don't get me wrong. People pass away, unfortunately, and sometimes we inherit money. You might get a scratch and scratch off lotto ticket. You might hit Vegas. You might get a bonus at work. If you come into a big chunk of money, you can always, throughout the year, put that lump sum right into your mortgage and pay that balance down. Fourth strategy, we get questioned about this all the time, and that is bi-weekly payments. Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit about bi-weekly payments. With this strategy, you pay half your mortgage every two weeks. Now, if your mortgage is due on the first, so people that are refinancing with low VA rates right now in September, they're likely not gonna make a September or October payment, right? Their first payment's gonna be due in November. Now, if they wait and only make half their payment on the first of November, then the other half, the second half of the month, they could run into an issue where they're late and they have fees. So if you're gonna employ this half of your payment every two weeks, if your first payment's due on October 1, well, why don't you send in half your payment, maybe September 15th, September 20th, and then the other half on October 1, and just from the get-go, get in the groove. I don't want anybody coming back and saying, well, I made half my payment the first half of the month, and the second half, the second half of the month, now I got all these late fees. There are companies out there that will 
charge you a fee to set you up for biweekly payments, it's a waste of time. Or sorry, it's a waste of money. Simply send in half your payment every two weeks. And what this ends up doing, in addition to just allows you to kind of prepare for cash flow during the month and for budgeting, at the end of the year, there's 52 weeks in the year. So if you're doing this every other week, it almost always turns out to be like making an extra one payment a year on your mortgage. And that may not sound like a big deal, but over time it adds up. And you probably won't ever even notice that you're missing the extra money or that it's disappearing because it just becomes like clockwork. Every other week you're paying half your mortgage. Fifth and final strategy, I'll put it right here. Hopefully that's still in camera shot. The fifth strategy is pay one twelfth of your mortgage payment extra every month. Okay, you may be saying, well, why one twelfth? Well, because there's 12 months. It's easy math. Again, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use twelve hundred dollars. Let's say your mortgage payment's twelve hundred bucks. Well, it almost brings you right back up here to numero uno, and that is if you just pay one twelfth of your mortgage payment extra every month. Now listen, for someone with a five thousand dollar mortgage payment or a six thousand dollar mortgage payment, it's a lot more aggressive than this extra hundred dollars a month. But for math's sake, just take your mortgage payment every month, divide it by 12, add that additional amount of money every single week, sorry, every single month when you send in your mortgage payment, okay? So that's basically it, guys. These are the five most common strategies, at least here at low VA rates. And regardless of which one of these you choose, there's not one that's better than the other or, or one that you should do over the other. I just wanted you to have these strategies Figure out which one works best from you, for you. You might change it throughout the year. If you ever have any questions, the most important thing I wanna make sure you guys take away from these videos, just pick up the phone and call us or chat us online. Ask us questions underneath this video. We love communicating with our veterans. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Hopefully you're wearing, hopefully you're wearing red next week. Can't wait to talk to you then.